Everybody gather round. I've got our orders. The target is on Galia's northern coast. What, what, what's the mission right now? I wasn't paying attention. Sorry. I have no idea. It just, I just started that, and he said there's a target on the northern coast in Marbury. The enemy's entrenched along the shore flanking the industrial region up north. Uh, is this going to be a beach landing? Squad 7 has been given one of their camps at Marbury to suppress. Now it's the amphibious assault episode. Hmm. Looking at the map, seems there's nothing there but big cliffs and open sand. What do you know, Largo? As you approach the cliffs, the beach slopes up steeply. Their camp is at the top. The path leading up there is narrow, meaning infantry will have to take the lead here. Somebody with movement points. Sorry, Largo, you're staying behind. Line the cliffside with gunnery to combat incoming foot soldiers. You telling us to dodge bullets running across an open beach with nothing for cover? <laughs> Welcome to the Normandy landing, folks. Boss, I may be catty, but I ain't got nine lives here. Puns! Stop your complaining. We're soldiers, Rosie. Ain't no such thing as a safe mission. Having said that, I don't think we should run directly into the machine guns. No! No! Throw yourselves on the machine guns! What do you mean there's no such thing as a safe mission? We just had a mission where we went to the frickin' beach! That yeah. was a safe mission! That was a safe mission! Well, I don't know, man. You could have gotten pinched by a crab. Fair enough. You're right. Let's do this Normandy invasion. <laughs> Dangerous or not, it's our job to get the job done as best we can. You're right. If we just charge in, you'll be facing a hailstorm of bullets. Vulcan just now realized that charging into combat is what gets you killed. <laughs> Welkin, any more brilliant ideas for another of your crazy plans? I was studying this turtle here, and here I realized he's got an armored exterior. Perhaps we could become like the wily turtle himself. Sorry, but I don't have any silver bullets for this one. What we need is some way to blind the enemy while we advance. We'll use flashbangs. I know, Isara, take off your clothes and you'll blind them with your white skin. Oh, that's racist. A way to... Blind them. She's getting on board. Well, getting down about it now won't help anything. Let's just do what we can. You what? probably don't need to keep one of your eyes closed, Zaka. It's, <laughs> we're not in combat at the moment. Why don't we knock all of their sensors offline? We'll have Isara strip naked and blind them with her body. And then uh, Rosie will sing to deafen them. They won't be able to hear anything either. Mm -hmm. And we'll just bring Largo. That way the enemy won't be able to smell anything without their nostrils being burned. Hey, boss. We uh, got a plan today. Well, Isara and I came up with a little something last night. As a matter of fact, we do cannon fodder! <laughs> you finished in time. I put a giant laser weapon on our tank! <laughs> yes, these smoke rounds should help keep our foot soldiers safe from fire. S smoke rounds? Okay. Smoke rounds? A new type of tank cannon rounds. They don't do any damage, but they create a smoke screen. If we run through those, we'll be able to move without being sighted. Can you just finish them now? So you didn't sleep at all last night, huh? No, I'm just a tank driver. It's not important I get sleep. The Sevens are like my family. Alicia, Rosie, Largo, Mr. Zaka, Welks, little Hans, too. He's the tiniest, most edible part of my family. <laughs> I don't want... None of you can die. All right, let's get ready. I can't believe that we're in World War II and nobody has designed a smoke grenade. Nobody had ever heard of the technology. Isara invented smoke grenades. Lovely. Climb the slopes leading up from the water and make a beeline for that camp, except it's not a beeline because it's not a straight line. Beeline, straight line, not the same thing. Ever seen a bee fly in a straight line? Yeah. They buzz around a lot. You do it all the time. There are two things to look out for along the way. One is the enemy machine gun emplacements all along the coast. The other day I was driving my car and I looked out the window and noticed there was a pigeon flying next to me. Not like right next to me, but like I could see him, like out my car window. I can't wait to see how this ties into the mission here. Um, and I looked down at my speedometer. I was going 45 miles an hour and the pigeon was was keeping up with me. Okay. Pigeons fly fast. I didn't realize they could fly that fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's it. That's the end of the story. Okay. How does that relate to the mission? Uh, you said, have you ever seen a bee fly in a straight line? And I started thinking about what things that I've seen fly in a straight line, and it was like airplanes and like helicopters and sometimes bees and then also pigeons. Okay, I guess that's tangently related, so good story. Yes! Concrete defensive bunkers that lie beyond the crest of that slope. They're incredibly resistant to attack and may take quite some time to take out. It'll slow you down. Largo has been outfitted with flamethrowers instead of lancers this time. It seems like a good use of his- Don't skills. shoot! Let him burn! If your shock troopers have classed up to elites by now, nope. 
We can use flamethrower. Oh, we can have flamethrowers. Son of a... Those flamethrowers would be very useful in this mission. God, I wish you had done your job and upgraded them to level 10. Actually, I did grind a bunch of experience since last time, so you might be able to upgrade them, yeah? Ba -da -ba -da! We've learned all units attack, which is useful. I don't know if they can use flamethrowers yet. Do we have to purchase the flamethrower item? Uh, maybe. Let's see. Shut up, Drill Instructor, man. <laughs> Shut up, Drill Instructor! Oh, for all the times I've heard that. And yeah. then seen someone do push-ups for the next two hours. Alright, well, let's position some units. We got ten troops we can bring in. Two of them are gonna be tanks. Probably want people with a lot of movement, I assume. I don't think your Lancers are gonna do a whole lot here. We'll see how badly it goes. Not having Largo. Can you imagine if they were able to redo the Normandy landing after the first time? Alright, that was a trial run, just so I could figure out where the enemy placements were. This time, my squad will survive. Ah, uh, yes, okay, well, come back soon, goodbye! Ah, <laughs> uh, this is nice. <laughs> my shamrock can't fire smoke rounds, but I'll pick up the slack on offense. Alright. That's right, this is our first op with you, Zaka. Good to have you. He just now realized this. Oh. Looks over and sees the other tank there, and he's like, what? What is that? Ah, oh, enemy tank! Blows it up immediately. Boof. Well, thank God that radiator was exposed. Okay, let's take a look at the battlefield here. We're going All right, so we got invulnerable gun. Invulnerable gun. There's an enemy outpost there. So why don't we... Um... Obviously, first things first, launch a smoke ground so your troops can run up behind the impenetrable, invulnerable gun and take them out so we're not so invulnerable. The smoke screens will dissipate a short while after they're fired, Welks. Right. Plus, a blast from a mortar, grenade, or anti-tank lance will blow it away instantly. Don't use grenades in there, guy. I don't think it works like that, but okay. So I guess we'll put the smoke screen, like, right here? Yeah, go for it. That seems like a good now. place for it. That's smoke, all right. Okay, that's gonna be where we're placing the smoke. Let's see if our troops can advance and not get murdered. It's difficult for Ted to see what's going on. Enemy found! Ah! 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 <laughs> he found one! I guarantee this one will slay ya! Haha, <laughs> you'll knock him dead! Ted. Hi, I'm Ted! He says as he shoots an elite thank scout you, in the face. Thank you. Nicely done! Now we can take this base! That was easy enough. But I could have started this game with nobody and just deployed <laughs> everyone here. We managed to avoid the threat of the enemy's machine guns. At least for now. You've only gotten one soldier past it. You've got to get everyone else through it now. Y yeah, everybody else has to get through. <laughs> Maybe you were right. Maybe you shouldn't have deployed all your troops. Oh, well, live and learn. Oh, uh, you're not being backed up by anybody, are you, Wendy? That's fine. Yeah. Why don't you bring up your other shock trooper to... Fly, uh, to stand next to Wendy. I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna try and get everybody up here just to eliminate uh, You're not gonna have enough movement points because you didn't bring Largo, in my opinion. But you will be- I still, Look how many movement points I still have left! Yeah, Largo got... gives me one extra and then he's just gonna sit back here and do nothing! Yeah, that's all Largo is good for on this mission. Giving you the extra movement points. Oh, for God's so sake. So your important troops can get more movement. Go! I, I can just imagine Largo relaxing on the beach, like, my only job here is to exist and my job is done. As he sips a margarita off of his chair. All right, here I and go. And then we'll just move the engineers up, like, next turn. This game is too serious. I need more jokey characters. There are some fun characters. I like having the the characters like Juno on my team, because they do their job. But we need more characters that are like Wendy, that are eccentric. Or, like, that one lazy character, who's just funny, because he's lazy. We need a character that's like Patrick Starr. Firing. Don't worry, I got your back. I'll get your back. I don't know what a back is. Enemy down. SpongeBob, are you gonna live? <laughs> okay, it's our turn again. Did they do anything on that turn? They did nothing, as okay. far as I could tell. All right then. Well, let's. So we'll just do we'll this. Smoke grenade everyone else up there, sure. Now. Remember to look at your surroundings. Yup, I can definitely do that, Captain Barat. I see a lot of smoke. you speak to your wife with that mouth? What did you say something about get out of that hole already? <laughs> yeah. It's our own secret garden. This is Dallas's fantasy. Look, I'm in a smoke cloud and no one can see us. It's you and me, Rosie. Oh, and I guess Nancy. Oh, and is that another, is that Juno? And over the, oh, that's Ted. <laughs> Boys are gross, they got cooties. 
Okay, then. This tank has a lot of movement. Does it have more movement yeah. than the Idlevice? Well, I made it up to the, where the Idlevice was, and it took two turns to get the Idlevice there. Nice. All right. Shamrock can move twice as far. It's not a very strong tank, though. Actually, my plan here is to end the turn so that I have all those movement points next turn. What's going to be your plan next turn? Next turn, I'm going to send two groups, one group up this way and one group up this way to take this area and capture this base. Why do you want to capture that base? I don't know, because I can. Uh, all right, seems like an unnecessary objective. So they don't uh, so they don't deploy people from there? Yeah. okay, that's fair. And also capture this one. That one seems like it might be easier to capture. We'll see. Right, but I want to capture this one so they can't deploy people there from there and flank me. Okay. Why don't you just have all your troops move from that base to that base to the left, and then if there are, are any reinforcements coming from the north, your shock troopers would just gun them down immediately. Uh, Unless they have a tank descending from that base, I don't think that's going to cause much of a... Problem. I like my plan better. Your, your plan of taking longer to do unnecessary objectives? That base up there is just a red herring. It's just existing to taunt you. For God's sake, fine. We'll move We'll move the shamrock up there then. Maybe, maybe that base only exists... Oh, wait. As, I probably a... can't move the shamrock up there because the Edelweiss is in the way. Yeah, then move your Edelweiss. Ah, uh, that Gatling bunker. Might be able to blow... Oh, that's a tank! Should have brought Lancers. Should have brought Largo. What'd I tell you? Should have brought Largo. Can I get any closer to it? Wow, everyone's shooting at me. It's because you're a big blue target. Of course they are. Oh, I just had an idea. I just had an idea. What's your idea? Wait, you're going to mortar the enemy tank? I don't think it's going to work. I'm going to mortar the back of the enemy tank. That can't possibly work. I really want to see. It's it, worth a shot. It's not going to happen. It's worth a shot. No. It, you even hit the, you just hit the treads. You might have uh, even missed it for all I know. I'm pretty sure that that would be very, very convenient, but I'm pretty sure you can't do that. I'm trying to figure out how to back the tank up. <laughs> how do I parallel park? All right, well, I guess we'll, um... Well, you know, now that I, you've I scouted much, it out, I, I see actually, there are a lot of troops up there. I think I actually have to go around this way because this was a big crater and there's a wall right here. Mm. Yep, I think you're right. So I think I have to go around this way. All right, well, let's start sending people up then. I'm serious, though, that you might want to bring out Largo since we've got tanks we got to take out. So you, I don't know who you're going to get rid of, but we probably should get Largo out here. Uh, whatever. Well, you know what you don't need? Sandbags. Sandbags are for cowards. Keep a watch for so follow me! Into battle we go! Cannot oh, enter? Okay, then. It looks like we're not going that way. We're going to have to wait for our troops to clear those things out. Very well. Well, part of me got a backup. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys. Enemy unit spotted. Enemy Whoa! They've got guns, all right. And he's, uh, he is in cover right now, so... Don't, even think of Don't tell me you fired your gun at his head. Yeah. He's in cover! Oh, for God's sake. Sometimes this game... <laughs> <laughs> I don't... I can't, You're okay. still getting gunned down! <laughs> This is, this is stupid. How have you not figured out the mechanics of this oh, game yet? Oh, for God's sake. I would end your turn as Ted right now. Oh, no, we're being shot at. Hide behind Ted for cover. <laughs> well, that was revenge. That makes things a bit easier. Well, there's a trench right here. Ooh, you might be able to use that. Could be useful. She's going to be really vicious about healing him. <laughs> Alright, Ted, time for your surgery! <laughs> oh, Juno's got 19 points of health now. <laughs> 11! What? 11 points of damage. What is... What? Why are your guns suddenly so weak? Well, bye, Juno. What? Luckily, you got plenty of other troops. Still, well, though. I... What? Yeah, not entirely sure. How was that guy doing so much Did damage? Did you say fuck? I think he went... Gag! How it sounded you? like fuck. Why are your guns... Why are your bullets only doing two points of damage now? This makes no sense. Damage minimal. Minor well, damage the Adolescence is about to be completely blown up. Well, I can't attack with a tank again. Oh, okay, let's try and salvage this. Here's my plan. You've got Largo. He doesn't have a lot of movement points. What you need to do right now, first of all, take out that shock trooper that's by your troops, and then try and send Largo behind that enemy tank. That'll only take all of my movement points. 
that required a lot of bullets, but he is finally down. I don't know why we're doing so little damage right now. No, 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 Ted. Over here. The elite troopers are actually starting to become a threat. All right, let's get Largo up there. Let's see if this works, if this plan of mine is actually gonna work. It might take a third movement point. Yeah, there is the tank. We can go around the side of it. Yeah, we're gonna have to use another movement point. We're gonna get out of this trench, fire a rocket, and hopefully take it out in one or two shots. Just I watch bet this. you he's gonna get mowed down by that machine gun over there. Wow, yep. you're absolutely correct. And also, I can't get behind the tank anyway. Wow, that's lame. Largo's dead. Okay, that plan of mine failed. Well, let's see how you salvage everything then. I was about to say, that better kill him. Ridiculous. Every body shot does almost nothing. Oh, and there's another guy here, too. And he's getting in cover. You have to blow him out of cover before you can do damage to him. For God's sake. Might want to bring up an engineer since Rosie is sitting right next to a landmine and no one else can squeeze by her. Right away. Take out. <laughs> you don't want to accidentally repair that sandbag. Actually. Well, yeah, actually. No, I do want to yeah. repair that sandbag. Why don't you use it since it's yours now? The scout and engineer are fixing the sandbag and killing him. I'll have Rosie run up and destroy this bunker from behind so that I can have somebody else go save him. Good idea. I should be able to do that in one turn. I think so, all right. So I'm gonna have Claudia fix the tank so that it doesn't get obliterated this next turn. You might have to spend two movement points doing that depending on how good her repair skills are. We'll see. But so far, your plan isn't terrible. I like it. And the Edelweiss is completely healed, except for almost, Almost completely healed. Good enough. That's, that is good enough. And the tank is going to keep firing on the Edelweiss. It's probably going to destroy the Edelweiss. No, turn. only if he moves three times. They got a big tank! Oh, bye, Dallas! Miss Alicia. Oh, this is just... Dallas and getting knocked unconscious by an enemy explosive. Holy crap! Minor damage to it, Minor, minor damage. Very little damage. Not a lot of damage. Okay. And what are you going to do now? Oh, the elite scout's firing. Big deal. So, what's our new plan? Are you still gonna try and bring up a scout and blow up that bunker? Yeah. What's your plan? Mortar that guy. Yeah, you gotta. Nope. Smoke. Oh. Okay. Oh, actually, no. I don't want to put smoke there because that guy is just gonna. Yeah, we'll we'll mortar him. If you got the range for it, yeah. I was gonna I was gonna put smoke there, but the moment that they run up and throw a grenade to get him out of cover, it's gonna make the smoke go away. So. All right. Yeah. Boom! All right, so blow him up. I'm gonna, I have to make sure I have two movement points at the end of the turn, because I'm gonna have the Edelweiss fire a smoke grenade in here so that big tanky McTankerson doesn't shoot at anybody over here because there's a smoke grenade in the way. Okay. So that's the plan at the end of this turn. So Ted is fine right here. Do you wanna try and advance him to that Actually, bunker? Actually, yeah, Ted can, Ted can advance to the bunker potentially. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get shot by that tank. Yeah, you can use the building as cover. And you gotta blow up that. That'll do some damage, yep. Nice. All right, so the machine gun is gone. Nice machine work. gun's blown up. Tank. Yeah, use it as cover. I love playing you you don't want to show off, Ted. You don't want to be seen. Ooh, found yeah, one. Apparently, I... you can't use this as cover. I love playing you a full house. Okay, game. Guess that's not cover. Why did, why did you just throw Ted out there? You saw it wasn't cover. I thought maybe the inside of that was cover. No. I don't know. The game's weird. I thought that would have been the inside of cover. Okay, let's try and salvage this. <laughs> For God's sake. You could almost get him in one turn, but you're gonna have to advance again. <laughs> I'm on it. <sighs> All right, we got Largo's Largo. just lying there, like I'm just napping. <laughs> okay, let's. Fire! What's the strategy with the snow grenade? Smoke ground is gonna keep that tank from shooting at me. Okay. What about this tank right here that's been shooting at you nonstop? It's fine. We'll deal with that. You gonna try and? I'll shoot at it. I'll. Use the Edelweiss again and shoot at Entering it. Combat. I was gonna suggest bringing a Lancer out here and then trying to go behind the Edelweiss's cover and try and get behind that tank, but two more shots from the tank will take it out. Probably just easier that way. Yeah. Underminer fire. Minor damage sustained. I'm confused as to what the point of the game even giving me tanks on this mission was because I can't go this way because this is a cliff side. So this is this. Here is the upside part of the cliff. Uh -huh. This is the lower part of the cliff. There's a wall right here that I can't drive the tank over. This is a crater that I don't think I can get a tank through. And this is a wall here. So I can only bring the tanks up into this area. Okay. And I, that's it. I don't know what the point of bringing Zaka's 
second tank is because from if that's the case then it seems like Zaka really can't do anything obviously the point of bringing the Idleweiss is for the smoke grenades which are going to be very very useful you've already used them so many times in this mission but aside from blowing up that tank that's directly in front of you I think that your Idleweiss doesn't have a whole lot left to do your ground troops are going to have to get most of the work done here so go ahead and blow up that tank that's in front of you here we go Enemy tank destroyed. Because we were tired of using several movement points to repair the damage it caused. Right. Wait, you've got to have Dallas or Claudia or someone go up and repair the tank. Shit. Might want to back up so they're not completely exposed when they do those repairs. Go ahead and climb this tower. It's been a pretty slow process so far. We are making headway. But, okay, let, with, with the marina's sight, what can we see here? We got the tank right there. How are we going to deal with that tank right up there? I don't know, because that's, I can't get my tank any further. That's a heavy, heavy It's going to have to be just smoke grenades. That's going to have to be it. Are we going to use smoke grenades with your tank and then bring up a Lancer? Oh, that's not going to do anything. He's in cover. Okay. Even though he's behind cover, so apparently that does nothing. In turn, she'll be fine up there, as long as she doesn't get shot at by the tank. You're gonna get shot. Yeah, each bullet is doing one point of freaking damage to a guy who's not even in cover. Because they're shooting me with attack down ammunition. Oh, okay. So your bullets do one damage instead of two? Apparently. Well, he's out in the open now, so if he stays out in the open, I can just peg him in the face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, you're gonna get into the tank. I'm curious. What's your plan here? You gonna... No, don't tell him he's gonna run over his own. So... <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Minor damage sustained. All right, well, it put itself in the open so I can shoot at it with my tank now. Rosie got shot at, but somehow managed to not get hit by anything. We have got to get to Ted this turn. Ted's probably going to die if we don't retrieve his corpse this turn. Yeah, he probably will. Um, first thing, I'm going to see who I can take out as Marina. Is there anybody that she can see and peg? I don't think there is, honestly. I think there's... Everyone's hiding behind that freaking giant rock. Why don't you shoot right through the barrel of the tank? Have it ricochet and hit the tank <laughs> after. <Personal. laughs> yeah, all right. Shrug. Who knows? Shrug. Might be able to blow him up with the other ones. Use a mortar on him. Who knows? Fire! Get wrecked, dork. Dorks. You got. Oh, one of them still alive? Are you serious? To eliminate this guy. He has. Look how much health he has. Yeah. yeah. Count me in, says Rosie, drawing the tank's attention to us. <laughs> All right, Alicia, go rescue Ted. Don't get mowed down, please. Ted has been evacuated. Now let's spend a billion movement points. Ah, oh, ah, ah, no, 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 no. Just got to get around, sneaky, sneaky, like. Oh, oh, enter. Okay. It's going to take, a, like, a whole two and a half seconds for it to rotate the turret. To go, 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 go. Yes, look at that. Aim, aim. Okay. Oh, it's going to hit the wall. I, it is. It's going to. Can I know you, it's going to. Can you end this turn, move forward? No, it's going to hit the wall no matter what. You can probably hit it now. It's going to hit the wall. Watch. Mark my words. <laughs> Look, your lance is inside of the wall right now. I will bet you anything it is not going to allow this. Yeah, no. You're done. No. Wow. All right, then. Uh, that's that, then. Wow. Thanks for nothing, Largo. You suck. You can try and blow up that tank with your tank. It's I guess. I don't know what else I'm going to do. All right. You've got enough movement points. You can do it. Fire. Boom. There we go. Idleweiss is taking out the enemy tank. Very no, that only work. destroys the turret on the top of it. Uh, what? Yeah, that only destroyed the turret on the top of it. Well, It still has its huge wrong. main gun. Wait, what? Yep. Then I guess we have to keep on destroying it. This is ridiculous. Been waiting here. All right. We'll have Largo... Walk around to the tank, and now we finally got access to its radiator. Boom. Goodbye, tank. Goodbye, heavy tank. Largo, you have my permission to All die. Right. <laughs> he is about to die right now. Yes, enter, enter, or he can just die. It's fine. Whatever. You have my permission to die, Largo. 